if you've spent any time on Twitter over the last maybe week and a half, two weeks, you may have seen a one of these. And what I want to do is they looked good. And I agree with most of them that I saw. But what I want to do is go through one myself and see what you guys think. So we're going to have a look at systems. I can't remember who did it first. It might have been Dratnos. People started doing tier lists of all of the systems that we've had in WoW so far. Or at least all of the major systems that we've had so far. Okay? And we're now going to do the same thing. We're literally going to take it from the beginning to the end. It is mostly going to be my opinions. And then we'll have like a discussion about it afterwards. So systems are very divisive. But we're going to go through them all. And we're going to see what we what we enjoyed, what we didn't. We're going to start from the top, work our way through, and then we'll have a discussion about it at the end. So to start with, we have artifact weapons. Now, they were really cool. Sorry, they were really cool by the end. To begin with, they were a pain in the ass. The only thing, I'm going to put them in A. The only thing that stops me from putting them in S was the way that they started in Legion. When they first came out, having to get each one individually and then get the AP for each one individually. That, that grind for the AP for each of your individual artifact weapons was not good. I hated that. I hated that a lot. It's the only thing that stops me from putting it in S. Outside of that, it was a really cool concept. A really cool concept. And I kind of wish that they'd... Part of me does wish that they kept that going forward. I know they tried it with the neck in BFA, but it didn't really have the same didn't really have the same flavor to it. I think there were ways that they could have worked on the whole artifact weapon and AP system without just overhauling it and putting it into that neck instead. I don't know. The artifact weapons thing was cool, but it definitely had its issues, which is the only thing that prevents me from putting it in S. Wish they had Frostmourne and Gorehowl and artifact weapons. Would have been sick. Would have been sick, actually, yeah. Make a statement and then overrule your statement by putting it in a different tier than discuss to trigger the entire chat. Uh, we might do that later. We might do that later. Ashran. Okay, so <laughs> Ashran's PvP, it's going in F. Um, it just is. So deal with it, I guess. Ashran, Ashran sucked anyway. Ashran was bad anyway, but it's PvP. I hate PvP. It's going in F. It's staying there. Azurite armor was a to acquire to begin with the vendor made it a little bit better i used to really enjoy gambling on azurite armor but that's because i had a bit of an addiction to it the start of it was really uninspired the second tier when they added the extra ring was pretty good i guess uh the vendor wasn't great although it did eliminate any rng it was just really expensive i'm gonna put it in c for now but it could move down i think its start was bad but it did get a little bit better towards the end badge vendors badge vendor dude badge vendors are really cool i i like badge vendors i think that i miss the whole badge currency system in its entirety playing classic over the past a uh, while now i think badge vendors are actually kind of sick um I'm not sure that they're s because they are very time consuming and they're they're only relevant for a certain amount of time but they are good i think we'll I think they go A. I think they go A, and I'm going to put them below Artifact Weapons for now, because I think Artifact Weapons go higher than Badge Vendors, because Artifact Weapons had more longevity. There was an entire expansion around them, whereas Badge Vendors were only for a very limited amount of time. Benthic Gear. Um, right, I don't know how to... I don't know how to split this. I thought the Benthic gear itself was really neat, but the grinding for Benthic gear was horrific. It was so bad. I really disliked that. But the gear itself was kind of cool. The fact that it was usable in raid meant that there was actually a worth to getting it. Otherwise, no one would have touched this. Do we think D? I don't, I don't think it quite deserves the F. It's definitely not a C. Now, you're all right. We're, we'll say it's like high F or low D, pretty much. I think, we're looking, I think we're looking at sort of low D here, more or less. BFA mission table, uh, it was garbage, but it's still better than Ashran. Brawler's Guild was so good. Dude, Brawler's Guild, boom. That is, that is easy for me. Brawler's Guild was so good and so fun, and I wish they would bring it back. It's one of the very few pieces of non-progression related content that I have ever done. Ever. Like, it's like this and... It's, it's basically this. It's pretty much just this. I did have a moment with pet battles when they first came out, when I was a lot more turbo casual than I am now. But the Brawler's Guild was so good. I adored this. Like, And honestly, there was, a, there was such a community aspect to it as well, when you had so many people there. And like, 
people were genuinely cheering other people on, like, giving little bits of advice and all that shit. It was so fun. It was so fun. God bless. Bring back Brawler's Guild, man. It was so much fun. Challenge modes were sick. I think they were... I think that's... Yeah, challenge modes are sick. I think they're better than M+. Challenge modes, I adored them. I got Realm First gold challenge modes in MOP on my DK, and I would love those to be back in place of M+, because I think that challenge modes had more room for optimization, I think. And the fact that like there was no punishment to not doing them correctly or to failing them, and you were able to just run them again and again, and I don't know, man. Maybe S is a bit too much for them. Maybe it should be A... They did also have some really cool rewards. Now they're staying S. When I think about the rewards as well, it stays S. It stays S. No, no shot. Chromie time. Right. <laughs> Here's a question. How many of you have actually done Chromie time? Because I'm convinced that not many people have actually done this. There's a fair few of you, to be fair. There's actually a fair few of you. Okay, fair enough. No. Chromie time, I thought, was fairly underrated. I thought it was fairly underrated. I thought that that little bit of... For what was just a little bit of side content... Chromie Time is just leveling now. Or do they mean the little event that you had at the top of... Um, at the top of Dragon... Like, the tower thing. Chromie Time is the new leveling. Okay, if, we're, if, if it is the new leveling, then okay, I guess, and it's going to go there. But if it's the actual event thing, then it goes there. But we'll say there for now, because you're probably right. As much as I want it to be the other thing. Is there the other thing here? I don't even remember what it was called. I can't see it on the face of it. We'll come back to it at some point. Uh, <laughs> right. I mean, lads, lads. We know where this is going, right? Like, we, we know where this is going, yeah? It's still better than Ashran, but yeah. I don't care what they did to Conduits by the end. I don't care what they did to Conduits by the end and the fact that they did make them better. They never made them changeable outside of those little Conduit little places. Even if they did put one in Xerath Mortis. You had Conduit Energy to begin with. It's one of the most unnecessarily restrictive systems that I've ever seen in this game. And it's going in F and it's staying there. To hell with it. Corruption. Right, okay. Maybe controversial. I'm putting Corruptions in B. Corruptions were sick. Corruptions were super fun. I played an Arms Warrior. Corruptions were one of the best things that Arms Warrior has ever received. But the acquisition of Corruptions to begin with and the tuning of them was horrific. And the Corruption Vendor at the end was flawed. Two big minuses to Corruptions. Outside of that, yeah, Corruptions are so good. Covenants. I mean, I don't see how you can have Conduits in F and not have Covenants alongside it, if I'm honest with you. Covenants were also not that good. You know what? Maybe I'm being too harsh. Am I being too harsh? No. They were restrictive at the start. No, 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 no. Restrictive at the start. No. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah, forget it. No. Covenant, Covenants in F. There's actually no... There's actually no shot. No, no. They stay there. They stay right there. Okay, cool. Uh, customer support. <laughs> I'll be honest, <laughs> I've not I've not had to use their customer support in a while. I've not had to open a ticket in a while. The only thing I've really done is item restoration and that's about it. I haven't had to open a ticket in a while. So I don't know if it's much better than what I remember. But from what I remember, it wasn't that good. So it's going to go D for now. Essence powers. Right, I'm going to put this... I think I, it's going here. No, it's going here. It's actually going to go here. Um, Essence Acquisition was garbage. At the beginning, it was really bad, and it took them way too long to open it up, to open it up uh, account-wide. However, one of my favorite memories of all of BFA... So BFA for me was an expansion which was not good, but it was made for me by the people that I played with. One of my favorite memories in all of BFA was sitting and grinding Battlegrounds with the boys in TeamSpeak, Discord, whatever, and grinding out Blood of the Enemy on five different characters. It was tedious, but the boys made it really, really fun. I'm keeping it there, because as bad as the acquisition was, you could make the acquisition good. Honestly, you could make the acquisition fun, and I did enjoy it. Ultimately, I enjoyed it. Also, Blood of the Enemy and Bladestorm is one of my favorite things that I've ever done in this game, so I'm keeping it a day. I know that that's not. I know that. I know that's going to annoy a lot of people, but fuck it, it's my list. Garrisons. I didn't really use the garrisons that much. I didn't use the garrisons that much. They were a, they were a cool idea. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Actually, it's going in F. You know why? It's going in F. Garrisons alone made the warlords of Draenor launch unplayable. Unplayable. 
And for that reason, it goes in F. <laughs> it can stay there. It can stay there. It's staying in F. It's still better than Ashran. Ashran is PvP. But Garrison's in F. It legit almost single-handedly ruined the launch of Warlords of Draenor. It was crazy. I remember that, and it was just absolute chaos. Glyphs? Glyphs aren't that interesting, honestly. Like, the old version of Glyphs. We'll ignore the new version of Glyphs because they're just purely cosmetic and they don't matter. But the old version of Glyphs, they, they weren't that good. They weren't that special. They weren't that impactful. It was basically cookie cutter. It was Glyphs were put in as a way to try and make inscription worth something. That's the only reason that Glyphs were ever in the game. I'll put it in D. You can't try and legitimize an entire profession by putting in a system that is that will only work with that one profession. I don't know. It was it was not yeah, it was not good. They're good implemented conduits. True, yeah, well implemented conduits. Yeah, may, am I being too harsh then? Maybe C? You know what? I'll put it above Benthic gear. We'll give it a high D, low C. That's what we'll do. Hard modes. Purely because Ulduar was a thing, hard modes are going hard modes are going high A. I don't think they're quite S, because I think bringing hard modes into dungeons was a mistake. I think they should have... And, and I think taking them out of raids was a bad idea. Hard modes are cool, man. Hard modes are so cool. Anyone that played Alderwall will remember pressing the button on Mimiron. Anyone. They're sweet. Horrific Visions of Nazoth. Uh, about here. No. About here. No. I still think better than Garrison's because it didn't lock anybody out of the game, and I still think better than Ashran because Ashran's PvP. You couldn't fail Conduits. You could fail Horrific Visions of Nazoth and then permanently be behind until they brought in the catch-up system. You couldn't fail Conduits. <laughs> Actually, you could fail Con- You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, Covenants can go ahead of Conduits. <laughs> there we go. You could fail Conduits. You could fail Conduits quite hard. But Horrific Visions of Nazoth, nah. I don't know, man. They weren't fun. They weren't fun, they were a chore. It's the same thing as Torghast. Actually, is Torghast in this list? Tell you what, we can skip ahead a little bit and we can also put Torghast... Uh, we can put Torghast here. In fact, no, we can put Torghast up here. The reason why I put it a little bit higher is because Torghast had a redeeming quality when they opened up the boss rush. The boss rush for Torghast was actually fun. And it's what Torghast should have been to begin with and shouldn't have been giving anything that we actually needed to make legendaries. Anyway, Island Expeditions. <laughs> I have to say that I think this is the most divisive thing in WoW. I think this is single-handedly the most divisive thing in WoW. In all honesty, I think there are some people that are going to want Island Expeditions to be S, and some that are going to want them to be F. And I'm not entirely sure where I sit in that. I think... I'm going to give it a C, and I'm going to put it below Chromie Time. I'm going to give it a C. If it was something that I didn't have to spam endlessly for 16 hours a day at the start of every single patch, it would be higher, because I didn't like doing that. There weren't enough people in the group to make me want to do that any more than I had to. Don't be pressured by the people. I'm not, I'm not. That, that's exactly where I want it to be. I think, I think I want it in C. I didn't mind them. There were some really funny moments, but it was just too much, man. It was just too much. It was too much. That's all. It was too much. It was the first example that Blizzard should not put an an actual power gain into something that's spammable. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There were still some fun moments, which is why I don't put it any lower. So I'll I'll give it a, I'll give it a low to mid C. That'll do. Item levels. I'm not sure if I have a strong opinion about this. Hasn't eye level always been a thing though with gear score? Yeah, pretty much. I I don't really have a strong feeling one way or another. Tell you what we'll do. Um, uh, add a row below. Make it. Call it. No strong feeling. And then item levels can go in there, because like item levels are just kind of core to the game. I don't know if it's just because of the way that I view the game at the moment, or the level at which I raid, or what. But yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel that impactful. It's kind of just a thing that's there and is like a an at-a-glance indicator of a character's power. It's also very misleading. It's also very misleading. Someone can have, like, a, a mid-high item level, but still not be that strong because they're lacking weapons and trinkets, whereas they have every other piece of uh, piece of gear in the game. Nah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I've got no strong feeling one way or the other. That's a good one. Legion Legendaries. They were fun, but their acquisition was bad. S? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. Similar to Corruptions, I was going to say, I'm thinking around B, because it's kind of Corruptions, but it was worse. It basically dictated how much fun you had at the very beginning of Legion. In my opinion, this is what dictates what you thought of Legion. If you had your Legendary early on, you think Legion is the best expansion ever. If you didn't have it early, you hated that expansion to begin with. And then it got good towards the end. It's this that prevents me from thinking that Legion is the best expansion. Mop is better because these existed. Wrath is better because these existed. The beginning of Legion was horrific for the majority of people. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't remember the Legion mission table. I'm kind of going to have to put it here because I don't remember much about the Legion mission table. Uh, looking for dungeon groups. Basically the group finder. You know what? Group finder's sick. I'm going to put it in A. Group finder's sick. We're going to put it in A. LFR... <laughs> um, <sighs> LFR is good for memes. I'm putting it in B. LFR is actually good for a meme. So something that I so okay, a, a, a little bit of backstory. Something that I used to do all the way back in Mists with one of my old old guilds was I, our tank, our prop paladin tank at the time, used to insist that he could beat all of the DPS in our guild as Ret. And every time after we'd finished re-clearing Siege of Orgrimmar, every time after we finished re-clearing, we would group as many people as wanted to go into LFR, into the Malkarok, uh, Malkarok wing, just so he could try and beat us on DPS. We would only do it once and he would get one shot every week and he never, never beat a single person on DPS. So I have really good fond memories of LFR for that reason alone. I... It, yeah, just because of that story, it's, it's got to be in B for me. It's, it's probably a lot higher than a lot of people want it to be, but no. It's, it's definitely staying there. M plus cash. D. Too much RNG. I prefer the vault system that we have now, but I still don't think that's good. The cash at the time was way too much RNG. There were some really high points when you did get what you wanted, which is why it's not F, but too high, too high RNG. It's going to be it's gonna be D. Mage Tower's sick. S. I think it stays below challenge modes for me. Or no, does it? Yeah, no, I think it stays below challenge modes for me because challenge mode was... Fun with friends, basically. I guess that's the only reason I'm going to keep it below challenge mode, but these two are really close together. In fact, all three of these are quite close together. I still think Brawler's Guild takes it, though. Mop Farm... <sighs> Mop Farm, I've got kind of no no strong feeling either way. It was just a thing that you did. That's that's pretty much all there was to it. Mop Legendary Cloaks. Mop Legendary Cloak and its quest line was sick. It's going above artifact weapons and below hard modes. The mob legendary cloaks, that is the way you do a legendary. That and the ring for um the ring for warlords, that's the way you do legendaries. I think they're really cool. Mythic Plus, this is a hard one. I'm not gonna give it an S. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it like a mid A. I can't really compare it to any of these because it's a completely different type of content. I'm gonna give it a mid A. Reason being, M plus when you have an organized group. And when you're vibing with friends and when you're just hitting it repeatedly with friends, God bless. Really fun. Great to do while you're not progressing. Best time. When you don't have a group and you have to pug everything, one of the worst things that you're ever going to experience. I, I, I kind of got to give it mid-A for that. I kind of got to give it mid-A. That's all. Need greed? Need greed's kind of dog. It is just a very simple way to handle... It is just a really simple way to handle loot, but it's relatively dog. I'm... I'm going to give it a mid C. I'm going to put it kind of like middle of the middle of the table. Netherlight Crucible. I'm going to say no strong feelings one way or the other. Unfortunately, I'd quit at the point that the Netherlight Crucible was actually a thing. So I can't... I've got no strong feeling one way or the other towards the, the Netherlight Crucible. New talent system is a D. Very, very little choice. Not a fan. It was a shame when they added it in. Yeah, not a fan. Didn't like it. The Zoth Legendary Cloaks. It's gonna go... It's gonna go in F. They were garbage, man. It's gonna go above Torghast. And the soft legendary cloak, it was so pointless, man. It was so pointless. There was nothing... There was nothing good about them. They were tied to visions, exactly. So, yeah. No, there was nothing good about those. Screw it. Nothing good about them at all. Old talent system. Other than... Okay, old, tal old talent system. Other than having to use gold every time that you wanted to respec... <laughs> When they added jewel specs, that was a godsend. But other than having to use gold every time you wanted to respec, it was good. I liked it. I liked the idea. I liked getting something while leveling every single level. It's going to go there. It's going to go kind of kind of low B, I think. It's going to go kind of low B. It was cool to get something every point while leveling, though. Like, leveling my warrior on classic right now, I, I love the old talent system. Just because you can feel the progression as you 
as you level up with every level. So many 5% this talents. Yeah, but it's like the it's like the new old talent system that's coming in Dragonflight, right? It's a very similar. I mean, that's obviously the point, but it's very similar. You know what? It might actually go C. You know what? I'm actually moving it down. I'm moving it down. I'm moving it to here. Simply because at the end of the day, there were just a bunch of cookie cutter builds and none of it was overly interesting unless you wanted to mess around and do things like Pompyro or something like that. About there will do me just fine. Order halls. Order halls were sick, but I feel like only some of them were really sick. If I were to say the sky hold specifically, I would probably put it in high A, but order halls as a whole, because not all of them were cool, I, it's going to go B. Low B. Skyhold was pog. A lot of the other ones were not so pog, like, I don't know, underneath uh, the sewers of Dalaran, for example, for, for rogues and shit like that. That wasn't as pog, but order halls were cool. Pathfinder's dog. Uh, it still goes above Ashran, but it pretty much goes to the bottom of everything else. Having flying tied behind this is one of the worst things in the world. Personal loot. Personal loot's going to go alongside need and greed, but I think it's worse than need and greed. From my perspective, loot gets handled the same way no matter what every time. This just means that you <laughs> this just means that sometimes you forcibly have to gear up your healers because they keep looting things. PvP cash, it's PvP, so it's going at the bottom of F. In fact, it's going below Ashran. Right, you know what? P okay. Now <laughs> I know I've been slating PvP this whole time, but PvP vendors are cool. They do deserve to go higher. I'm putting them below order halls, but I'm putting them quite high up. PvP vendors are sick. I like the idea of working towards that item that you want to get rather than trying to RNG the item that you want. It's really good. And you know what? While we're at it, the vendor upgrades can also go alongside it. It's going to be... I've changed my mind. It's going to go there instead. The reason why I've moved it down is because the sheer amount of honor that you need to farm for this is horrific. So I don't think I can put it quite on B, but it's still, it's still decent. It's still a deterministic way to actually get your gear as a PvP player. So I guess it's okay. Reforging was sick, it's going in A. Uh, it's going to go just below Artifact Weapons. Reforging was sick. I know that there's a lot less of a point to it now because we don't have hit and expertise anymore, but Reforging was an absolute god-tier god -tier piece of kit. And I wish they would bring it back because, yeah, I liked being able to <laughs> make my items good no matter what they were. Runeforging. I mean, it's DK only, so I don't really care one way or the other. But I think that it's also... It's not that interesting... I'm going to say no strong feeling. It is DK only, so I don't really care, but it isn't interesting. You know, there's no there's no different rune forges for different situations. Hell, it's not even like blood DKs as tanks use a different rune forge. They still use the DPS one because it's still the best thing for them anyway. I know there's a bunch of different rune forges, but man, like if there was a little bit of option to be had, then yeah, I don't know. Scenarios. I'd forgotten about these. I'd forgotten about them. They were kind of just a little bit of tacked on content. I don't know. We're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna say D. They were okay. They weren't anything to write home about. It's kind of whatever. Shadowlands legendaries. Where did I put Legion legendaries? I put them in B. Right. Yeah. No. You know what? I'm. I'm actually gonna put it in F. I'm gonna put it in F, and I'm gonna put it below Torghast. The way that you had to acquire and make these to begin with, and the fact that so much Torghast was needed. I can't. Yeah. No. I can't. I can't. It's so bad. Like the more I think about it, the worse it gets. No. 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 It's fine. We'll. We'll keep it there. Shadowlands mission table, I just don't care. You know what? It's going to go F and just above Pathfinder. There was a point to it, but it reset every single time you change Covenant. So what was the point? There was actually no point whatsoever. Oh, Shards of Domination. I feel like I'm just slating the game at this point. Shards of Domination were not good. They were really, really bad. But the thing is, the, the power gain was so big. I see a lot of you saying F. I'm, I'm going D, man. The acquisition was horrific, again, which is what has it partly so low. I've moved it up a bit because the power gain from the power gain once you got them was tremendous. And it was kind of the only thing that made Arms Warrior it was the main thing that made Arms Warrior good in that tier. Am I keeping it in D? No, I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. Tertiary stats. Oh, hold up. Tertiary stats are garbage. I hate the idea that my character is just not done. I hate the fact that avoidance is so necessary for uh, M+. Plus. Going to put it in F, but it's going to be a high F, because they're not that bad, I guess. Uh, Great Vault is sick. Where did I put the Where did I put the M+, plus cash? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're actually right. You're actually right. It's better, it's better than the M+, plus cash, but not by much. But not by much. It's honestly not better by much. They're, like, 
So, for example, in Season 4, the very first thing I got out of the cache, out of a 3 raid, 3M plus vault, the first thing I got out of it was coins. Coins. Sockets. In the first week. The fact that you could have that many options and it still screw you over was bad. Yeah, it can stay there. It can stay in D. Uh, Threads of Fate was alright, I don't really care that much. Tier sets are uh, sick, tier sets are going there. Tier sets are really good. Tier set, bon tier set bonuses can screw you over a little bit, so... Mm, okay, it's going down a little bit lower, it's going to go there instead. But the tier sets are still really good. For the most part, they're still super fun. Time walking, I don't really care about. Titan forging was bad, but not as bad as um, things like Shadowlands Legendaries or any of this shit, basically. I'm gonna, yeah, but that, that's that's kind of fine where it is. Transmog, do we like Transmog? What do we think, lads? Do we do we like Transmog? Transmog's okay, I guess. Trans yeah, but do we love Transmog? You guys are saying S. Do we really like Transmog that much? Are you sure? I'm not sure we do. You know, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give it a B. It's gonna go just below uh just below order halls. It's it's going B. It, you can't say S. How how can you say that Transmog is that impactful to you that it's S alongside? Mage Tower, Challenge Modes, and Brawler's Guild. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Warfronts were boring, but at least it was something to do. Wad Legendary Rings? Didn't play with them a lot. I don't really care. I didn't play with them a lot. So I don't really have that strong of a feeling about it. The Wad Mission Table, however... No, no, no. Okay, right. Hear me out. Wad Mission Table gave me so much gold. It's going in... It's going in a high... It's going in a high B. It's going in a high B. The one mission table gave me so much gold and so much loot. It was so good. World quests are pretty bad. We don't like those. Daily quests are also pretty bad. We don't like those. Flexible raiding is a cool idea, but it doesn't relate to me that... I'm going to speed run this now. Flexible raiding is a cool idea, but we don't care about it too much because Mythic is why I play the game anyway. So I'm going to say no strong feeling. Paragon reps are pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're decent at best, but I wouldn't say F. Professions and okay, so professions. If we're thinking about in Dragonflight as well, professions are kind going to be kind of sick, if a little bit problematic. I kind of want to hold judgment on professions until Dragonflight, but for now, they're so unimpactful that I think we're looking at F, a high F, but we're looking at F, considering that everyone that you see who takes the game even remotely seriously is engineer and alchemist in Shadowlands. They're pretty uninteresting. Dragonfly has a chance to move it up fairly significantly, but right now, so pointless. Weapon skills were bad, but it's still better than PvP. Actually, I need to change that around a sec. Hold on. You're still better than Pathfinder. You're still better than Pathfinder. Dailies are better than World... No, World Quests are better than Dailies. There we go. Pet battles. Right. I did quite a bit of pet battling when it first came out in MOP. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm putting pet battling in B. Gotta catch them all. Valor and Justice Point Vendor, they were okay. I mean, they were basically just the same as Badge Vendors. They were still pretty cool. No, they were still pretty cool. You know what? They're going to go just below Badge Vendors. You know what? Tier Sets actually needs to go above Essence as well. There we go. Creation Catalyst. Creation Catalyst is cool. It's a shame that it's got charges on it, but when the charges roll over, it's still pretty neat. It's going to go mid B. Cypher of the First Ones, no strong feeling, doesn't really matter. 25 man rating. 25 man rating was cool, but meh. 40 man raiding was just a mess. Dragonflight talent trees. Uh, I'm putting it in A. I like them so far. Dragon riding, that's going in S. Heirloom, the way the heirlooms were, they would have been in S. The way the heirlooms are now, they're going in C. 20 man mythic raiding, I think it's kind of perfect as it is, if I'm honest. It's easy for me to say this because I'm in a very organized guild. Arena, it's PvP, so it goes down here, just above Ashran. Battlegrounds, it's PvP, it goes just above Arena. AP, it goes here, because it's worse than everything. Max's new haircut, it goes here, because... Yep. Wither, Wither training was cool, man. Wither training can go in B. Wither training was actually sick. This was actually fun. I love doing this as a blood DK and being able to just, like, actually fully complete the whole thing. From day one, because it was so good. Master Looter goes in S above, above Dragon Riding. Ten Man Raiding goes in S above Master Looter. Achievements... Kind of no strong feeling one way or the other. And cross-faction can go high A, just above reforging. Cool. There you go. Look at that list. That's a good looking list. That is actually a good looking list right there.
The only reason why cross faction is not an S is because we don't have cross faction guilds yet. The moment we get cross faction guilds, then it goes in S. Then it goes in S. But yeah, there you go. That's that's a good looking list right there. I think we speed we we we, we speed ran that. That was good. We speed ran that. Nice.